Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at our first higher level uh, leave and circ construction, which is construction 16, uh, constructing the circumcenter and circumcircle of a triangle. For construction 16, we want to be able to construct the circumcircle of a given triangle. So therefore we need to locate the circumcenter, which we can then for, therefore use to work out the circumcircle. So the most important thing you need to remember about um, construction 16 is we are going to be finding perpendicular bisectors of the line. OK, so that's the thing that needs to kind of pop into your head if this came up in the exam, that we need to find the perpendicular bisectors of the different uh, sides of our triangle and then where they meet, that will be our circumcenter. And then we can use our circumcenter to find or to draw our circumcircle. So what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to find the perpendicular bisector of two of the lines in our triangle. It doesn't matter which ones you pick. And um, so I'm going to start off with AC. So again, you need to go back to your junior circ constructions if you're not sure of this. So we're going to stretch our compass to more than halfway and we're going to draw an arc. And again, you don't need to do the full semicircle. I'm just going to do it like this. And um, we're going to go to point C and we're going to do the same things. So you can draw an arc on the top and the bottom. Again, I'm just going to do a nice um, semicircle. And then just as we would have done in your junior search, you're going to mark those two points. And you're going to join them together. And we have our first uh, bisector of the line. You're then going to twirl your uh, triangle around and you're going to find another perpendicular bisector. So this time I'm going to do it for the line AB. So again, I'm going to make sure my compass is stretched to more than halfway. And I'm going to draw my semicircle and I'm going to go and do the same thing here at A. And then again, make sure you're just taking special note of where they intersect each other so you're not getting confused. So there and there. We're then going to get our uh, ruler and we're going to join those two together so that we formed the other um, perpendicular bisector. OK, so now we've kind of done the hard work. Now we have found where they intersect each other and that is going to be our circumcenter. OK, so this point here is your circumcenter. And what we need to do now is we need to draw our circumcircle. So what we need to remember is this is obviously the centre of my circle. And when you're constructing the circumcircle, the circumcircle should pass through all three vertices of your triangle, which means it should touch A, B and C. So when you're trying to figure out the radius of your circle, then that's your big hint that basically your circle should come out to point A. So once you've got it set up like this, and hopefully you've done it accurately enough. When we go and draw our circle, it should hit off point A, B, and C. And there we have it, we have our circumcenter, and then we have just calculated our circumcircle, which hits off the three vertices of our triangle. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video, we looked at construction 16.